Yo, 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 hey guys, Rowan here, and welcome to Wasteland Warrior, episode 83 of Wasteland Warrior Extended Edition. Now, with more explosions! No? Terrible intro? Okay. <laughs> anyway, as always, Raul, my ghoul... Who is nobody's fool. I don't know why I'm rhyming. Please stop me. Um, it's taking along. Raul keeps my weapons and armor in tip-top shape. And he's a grouchy old Gus, but we love him. And as always, Eddie, my main man, my floating toaster who makes no toast, is taking along for the ride. And what are we going to do today, you might ask yourselves. Well, we're going to head on over to Repcon. Because, uh, our main man, Eddie, he's looking for an upgrade. And I say, let's give him one. Poor guy, he's been wanting an upgrade this whole time. And we just never accommodate. So, hmm, robots. I'm gonna kill all these robots. On a side note, just, uh, just saying. I'm an anti-robite. Yes, I don't, I don't like these robots. Dead robot. Dead robot. Very good. Besides, if the game wasn't glitched, technically I should have to kill uh, 50 more robots. But, um, it's a glitched. So I can only get two ranks of robot killer. Oh well. But, we'll make uh, lemons out of lemonade and, you know, live with it, I suppose. Don't mind if I do. And, if we try and enter here at certain times of the day, they'll shoo us out. I think we should be able to enter at this time. Yep, he's not rushing up to me, telling me to get out, get out, get out. I'm not sure the robot actually will care if I eat these people. Well, we'll see here. Don't mind me, I am not doing anything suspicious. At all. So, there's a lot of interesting things in here. Um, there's hidden panels in the walls that with a perception of 8 or higher you can actually discover and then you can use your repair skill to jam them. Now, I'm not going to actually do that. And here's why. Because if I trigger the alarms later, which, oh, for sanity's sake, I'm not going to do until I've pretty much cleared this place out. Alright. But basically, for my sanity's sake, I'm not going to trigger the alarms till I'm almost done. Because, really, I don't want to have to be hearing wah, 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 for the next, you know, however long it takes. How may I serve you, Master? Let's see here. That can be open. There's also just a ton of, uh, like, pickable or lock pickable things and hackable computers in this place. It's really, really good for that sort of thing. Right, I'm just kind of looking around to start with here. There's also a tour we can take. We will take the tour here. But first, I want to find everything How good. You, you cannot serve me. None shall serve me. Hello. Ah. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Wait, what time is it? Oh, fine. I'm going. Jeez, the please. All right. Well, that's what I was talking about. We just got shooed out. Fine. Um. Dang it. 
Now I'm going to get hungry and thirsty. Great. We'll come in at 10 a.m. so we don't get bothered again. Alright. Come on. Uh, of course I'm thirsty now. Jerks. How may I serve you, Master? You cannot serve me. Yeah. It's a lot of rads. That's okay though. Rads don't scare me. I'm not gonna look at these signs till I take the tour. Oh. Here. Speaking of hidden panels. I will take some mentats so we can see. Ho hidden door. See? Look at that. Now we can see it. I'm not going to do anything with those because, again, I want to actually fight the sentry bots. And I'm going to go around and pick a lot of, a lot of these uh, locks. Alright. Very good. That gets open during the tour. So I wanted to come here and pick it ahead of time. Okay. Very nice. Lots of loot. I like it. I like it. Good start. Very good. Um, I... Alright, I'll stay outside of restricted areas. No, we're not going to stay outside of restricted areas. It's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to go into all the restricted areas. Eddie trying to do things here. Could you just, you know, stay out of the way a little bit, please? I would ever so much appreciate it. Alright, I'm glad my lockpicking skills are up to snuff, because they're going to get a workout in this place. Alright, look at this. Just constant things to lockpick. That's why I don't come here till late in the game. Oh, wait a sec. Whoa. Hey, what was that? Oh. That was, um, two safes. Interesting. Did you guys see that? That was kind of neat. Big book of science. Oh, that's right. This place has, um, lots of, uh, skill books, actually. Well. Let's take our big book of science then. Ba-bam! And... Well, it's hard to tell because I have Mentats going. But I'm sure that was a huge upgrade and I love it. Okay. That's a secure access area over there. We're not going there yet. I'll read the the signs when we take the tour, so don't worry about that. Um, is that like a shut-off switch for alarms? No. See, one thing that really irks me is the alarms go off, and then there doesn't appear to be any way to ever shut them off. Jenny Millet's card, we're not going to take that yet. Okay, that's all that's up here, so that card's going to stay there for now. We'll come back for it later. Alright, let's take the tour right now. We'll get it over and done with. Hold up, robot. I'm saving before I take a yeah, tour of you. Yep. Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Ooh, what can you tell me about Repcon? I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. History, then. Repcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, shortly after the famous Delta XI rocket was completed and launched. Repcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Redcon in late 2076 to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. Ah, tell me more. Very well. 
Feel free to ask me more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. You do know everyone's dead, right, I Robot? Uh, R&D, please. As you may already know, Repcon is an industry leader in producing alternative fuels for military and scientific purposes. Repcon scientists were pioneers in fission-based propulsion systems and have recently had some very exciting breakthroughs with plasma systems. The recent partnership with Robco has freed our engineers from mundane business matters, allowing them to focus solely on future projects. Ah. Um, tell me about Robco then. Robco Industries purchased Repcon in 2075 to assist with some of Robco's military projects, as well as developing unmanned space exploration. The relationship between Robco and Repcon is mutually beneficial, and we hope that both companies bolster each other well into the next century. Ah. Um, yeah, give me that tour then. Excellent. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ooh, a tour. Ready for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. Ooh, scientific discovery. Yay, science. Out of the way, Raul. Ooh, boring old rod, or what is this? A dull rod? Not so, Rocketeers. This dull rod once powered Repcon's old nuclear-propelled rockets and still contains harmless traces of radioactive material. As an exercise, stare closely at the rod and try to spot the telltale glow. While this case is lead lined standard in these cases, not specifically requested for this display, do not touch, look, or stand too close to this exhibit. Keep your legs moving to see the rest of the museum. Contradictory a little bit. In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive Ooh. rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Ooh. Ah. How may I serve you, Master? Look here. A row of multicolored plasma fumes. Careful. They may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. All right. Hold up, Rocketeers, what's this? This trio of cylinders isn't a trio of cylinders at all. They're containers holding what some scientists call plasma. Can you say plasma? Repcon's always looking to the future, and in our future, we don't have to worry about radiation, health risks, or lawsuits when using this new and improved fuel source to blast the rockets into and out of the sky. Clarification, cylinders and plasma are factually correct des designations of display items, both by definition by the scientific community. By the difference in cylinder size, refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. We've all heard stories that radiation is dangerous. Fact or fiction? A common sight in factories, military installations, and the basements of selected government-funded middle schools. These safety barrels are just what the name implies. Safe. Well, their attractive coloring can be interpreted as a warning, for Repcon, it's an invitation to a future filled with nuclear power. Rhetorical questions and non clemature of exhibit items cannot be used as a basis for criminal prosecution. On my left is an example of a mountain of Repcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. I agree. Why look here, a pile of itty-bitty safety barrels, all nestled together like a family sitting down to dinner. Now, while it's claimed even the safest nuclear waste disposal procedures seep poison into the environment that never, ever goes away, in Rep Repcon's case, we say it all depends on where you put them, and Nevada's just the place. Nomenclature for hazardous waste barrels is per Repcon glossary specs. Ooh. Ooh, what do we have here? Meat. Shut the door. Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hats until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. You can tell and me about it. is a model, not actual size, of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets streaming into orbit. Cool. Just like the rocket you see here, we're aimed at the sky, but we've got a ceiling in the way. 
Sea Rocketeers, while Repcon is, was focused on non-radioactive propulsion engines, we still need to sneak back and use some of our older proven techniques with nuclear-driven engines to make space travel a reality. Partnered with our new buddy Robco, we've dug up older, cheaper technology for upcoming orbital projects. No worries, even if you can't always see what we're up to there, we can see you. Any, implica any implication of radioactive material as negative as unintentional in no way reflects Robco with subsidiary Robcon, Repcon. Force your parents a short drive south and you'll see a retractable dome of Repcon's launch facility. Not actual size. You may have heard wild stories about rocket flights and their impact on nearby towns and communities, but Repcon feels you can't put a price of space exploration. After all, Rocketeers, you do want to go into space someday, don't you? Statement is figurative and inadmissible as evidence in a court of law. Oh, we're not... Okay, we are going to go over here. Green Bean. Officially called the Z4352B by silly engineers, we prefer to call this little scrapper by its true nickname, the Green Bean. After all, which would you prefer in your backyard garden? A smoldering Z4352P or a Green Bean? One sound like it belongs if mentioned on the news, and make news it did, featuring Repcon's plasma engine. It was so newsworthy that we decided to take the quantum matter modulation unit out and see if we could use it for non-explosive uses. Rocket... Rocket nickname chosen after results of first trial landing. Big Fat Fiery Fred. V2932G uh, may look like a big fat fiery red rocket. Rocketeers, but old fatty ear ran circles around the earth not so long ago. So let's see you keep up. Sure, V2932G's re-entry gave it a more commonly known nickname, Big Fat Fiery Fred. But here at Repcom, we choose to focus on the successes and apply what we learned about explosive resistance shielding to future models and even our landing platforms. The newly reconstructed Repcon launch facility was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. This sleek and purple R77293A needle nose is what happens when you mix fossil and plasma in a rocket and shake it up. The fossil fuels punch the sharp nose terror through the sky and the plasma is used to shoot it through space to planets where Repcon can mine more fossil fuels. Continuing the whole cycle again. Interplanetary mining and research rights still in negotiation. Now these colorful fellows behind me are Repcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. Ooh. Robots. We got us some robots. Eddie, see, it's your brother. Not as handsome as you, though. Ah. Now for the highlight of our tour. Ooh. Due to a generous donation from Rodco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Whoa, watch your step. You don't want to be facing this fearsome fellow if you accidentally stumble into a restricted area. While they're sporting the latest in dual miniguns, rockets, or laser cannons, the Sentry Bot not only takes this job seriously, it also takes no prisoners. It's proof of Robco's commitment to defense that these deadly guards are concealed in chambers throughout this facility. So let this be a warning. Watch where you step, or it'll come Robco guns blazing. Except brought to you by your friends at Robco. Around you are the incredible iBot, the fearsome Sentry Bot, and the... <laughs> Always helpful, Mr. Handy. That helpfulness runs through our whole line. Robco has always had an eye for robotics, and this little fellow is no different. This robotic marvel can not only recognize your face and voice with advanced facial and auditory recognition technology, it can also broadco bro eh, broadcast video and audio as well. Think of it. All the sights and sounds of your radio and TV in your living room at home blasted directly at you on the street, subway, bathroom, or wherever you may be. Never fear, you'll never miss a news bulletin or presidential address again, no matter where you are. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. You never can have too many hands. Three, why not four? That was Robco's inspiration behind the popular and cost-effective Mr. Handy model. The first line of shown here. Always a hand around the household, or always a help around the household, whether with mom in the kitchen using its titanium circular power saw, or in the garage with dad using its armor-piercing laser array. Mr. Handy is not just helpful, he's your friend, too. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. 
Oh, what is this? Some folks have asked, why not a Protectron with wheels? Robco wasn't afraid to answer that question. The Protecto bot is the answer. Well, safety standards prevent this freewheeling dynamo from entering mass market production, despite Robco's best intention and teams of lawyers, we take consolation in letting you see this extremely well-funded experiment as it was intended. A robot moving so fast it looks like it's standing still. Brought to you by your friends at Robco. Ooh. This is the final stop on our tour. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Robco and Repcon hopes to go. See those little rockets zipping about? Ooh. They are manned by robots, tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. Pray. Now that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Robco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. Yes? Did you have a... Um, okay. Okay. Goodbye. A model of our solar system, not actual size. Beautiful, isn't it? Rodko, with its subsidiary Repcon, has often gazed into the night sky, seeing the rich pageant of stars and planets above us. Our goal, to send unmanned rockets to these other systems, seeing their beauty firsthand while mining ever deeper into each planet's surface for precious resources needed here at home. This is our promise to mankind, extending our reach into a future where the number of Robco and Repcon rockets match the stars in the sky. Brought to you by your friends at Robco. Ooh, ah, wondrous. Okay, let's get down to some, some business. Time to pillage and plunder this place. Alright. Saving time, because I'm likely to get myself in all kinds of trouble if I'm not careful. Occupied. Imposing. Very good. Exact match. That's what we like to see. Nope. We're gonna pick the lock. Ugh. Come on. Pick pick the lock. Let's Thank you. Give us away. And we got more locks to pick. That's what I like to see. Okay. And we're gonna save him a cake a little bit. Um continued. Ooh, very, very close. Alright, there we go. And it is a hacked. Not going to do that yet. Correspondence. Alright. Hello again, everyone. Those of you in the maintenance building may be curious about the men doing all the work in your offices and hallways. They're installing some enhanced security measures. These measures are in place for your safety as well as the safety and privacy of your Repcon family. Along with the hardware and software security changes, each of you will also receive a personal packet with an identification badge. It is very important that you wear your badge at all times. Again, this is for everyone's protection. Oh, and everyone, please feel free to take a long weekend as soon as you have reached your personal packet. Have a great holiday! Hello everyone, my name is Carl Rook and I have the same voice as the previous guy. As I'm sure you can tell, I am your new vice president. Until recently, I was at Robco working in their security division. But now that your family and my family are one big family, we thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. Now, I'm going to do as much as I can not to interfere with your daily operations here. My principal concern is going to be safety. I hear that you all have been adapting well to some new security procedures, don't you know? Well, we've got these some new kids to join your little family here. You'll see some friendly androids patrolling around the main building. As long as everyone remembers to wear their badges at all times and make sure they're properly registered with security, these friendly androids will stay out of your way. So long as you all just keep as you've been, everything will be just fine. Thanks for your time. Please remember that third floor access is for executives only. 
If you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us a buzz on the phone and we'll send you down the daily password. Thanks. Alright. Talking like that actually just gave me a massive headache. Ugh. Oh. All kinds of goodies. Alright. And some caps. Got to love them caps. Alright. There is way too many things to pick and hack in these places. I'm going to be so over encumbered very quickly, am I? I don't know why I said am I. No, I know I'm going to be over encumbered so very quickly. Uh, ah. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable. There. Um, you know, no, don't don't take that. There. Take sleepy time. Okay. All right. And all these. Yes, please. Yep, we're definitely going to have to do a couple trips, I think. Definitely, definitely. Oh, why am I detected? Oh, what do you want? Unauthorized facial pattern. Please present credentials for first floor access. I'm not supposed to go upstairs. Let me pass and I won't. Please do not make your way to the second floor. Ha <laughs> ha sucker. Ha! Easily confused robots. You gotta love it. Okay. And making my way to the next floor is exactly what I plan to do. Silly robot. Tricks are for kids. Med X. Very nice. And a plasma rifle. Always acceptable. Alright, very good so far. Getting some goodies. Alright. Oh. I can definitely hack this. If I have my I'm sure you'll be outfit. very equitable, boss. Um There it is. Okay. And color is lab coat. And where ah, programmers digest. There we go. Disappearing. No. Construction. Bam! Too good at this. Such skills. Nope, not gonna disengage lock because. Alright. And then locksmith reader. Fair enough. Alright, come on you. Come on, you. You can do it. You can open. I have faith. I have all the beliefs in you. You can do it, little guy. Ah, dang it. I'm having an easier time with the computer hacking these days. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. Yes! Yes! This is supposed to be floating in here. Fix your game. Game's broken. Okay, what does this one do? Nope, disengages. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, and Nikola Tesla on you. Can do. Very good so far. Okay, I'm um, going to immediately use Nikola Tesla and me. Get my energy weapon skills boosted a little bit. Very nice. Because my energy weapon skills are terabad. So terabad. And what is up here? Let's save before I get myself into all kinds of problems. Because we know it's going to happen. We know that is exactly what's going to happen here. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, come here. Come here. Oh, crud. Eddie! Eddie, help me! Eddie! Um. Okay, that's definitely doing it. One might have to take a couple trips here, I think. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Things, thing. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. It's all okay. No worries. I had it all under control all along. There was never a time to actually panic. Okay, maybe a little bit of time to panic, but... Okay. Where does this go? Alright, we are... We are exploring all the things now. Okay. What? What is you? Hmm? What is you? What? What do you want? Unauthorized facial pattern. Second floor access restricted to registered employees. Um, yes. Intelligence check. Override accepted. Alright. Well. It's a good thing I uh, speak robot. It's all my time around Eddie has done some good, I suppose. Okay. We'll head a, a this away. Although I think this probably just took me around in a circle. I don't even care. Don't even care. Hidden door. See, there's hidden doors everywhere. Oh, now I'm just being a doofus. Okay, I'm not sure what those are. Okay. Oh, nice. Almost could have missed that. Just a first aid box chilling. Yeesh. Yawning on you, Mr. Skellington? No? Um... Don't bother me. Just looking around. And, and, wow. Three skill books in this place. Wowzers. I am definitely down with that. That's for sure. Okay, and... Hack. Um, flat. No. Gang. There we go. And nope, not gonna add user data. Ah. Oh, it's a lady. Um Cop, I made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. Where I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon. But I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. Okay. Ow. Ow. Poor throat. No. Okay. Sarah's gonna have a manly voice. For the last couple of weeks, I've seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain this isn't a DOD approved method. I fear these messages may be a sign of someone sending insider information. Alright. Alright, this is from... Miss Wang, please continue your investigation into the messages and keep me appraised on any progress you make. In the meantime, please keep this information private. I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed. And please... Call me Carl. Alright. Hello. I will need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off this terminal as well as reformat it with my personal information. Yeah, I know. People don't have consistent voices. I don't even care. I don't even care. It's... It's the way it is. Live with it. I don't even care. So, too bad. Don't like it if you want, but... Okay, robots. Be quiet out there. I want no trouble. I just want to loot this place in peace, okay? Loot it in peace. That's all I want. Okay... I'm definitely strongly considering going back and dropping off some stuff, though. And then continuing to loot afterwards. Because we're definitely getting to a point where I'm not sure how much 
more stuff, I'll really be able to cram into the old backpacks. Okay. Very good. I think we're gonna have most of this place looted, though, so that's good. No valid Repcon identification. Back. Oh. Okay, I'm going. Going, I'm going, I'm going. Crud. Crud, crud, crud. That means they're gonna sound the alarm. Okay. Wow. Um. I think now is a good time. How much room you guys got? Eddie, where are you at? Okay, Eddie's got some space. I think now's the time to go get the badge and do the face scanner thingy. Alright. Um. So we're here. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Yes, I will definitely visit again. No worries there. Alright. Badge. We need that now. Because I don't want to get into trouble. Very spat past the speech check, so that's all I really wanted. I'm happy. And all these robots are going to die, by the way. I have a thing against robots. They all must perish. Ah, uh, not you, Eddie. Okay, we'll do facial data. Okay, that's first floor access facial data. Then let's get up here and we'll do second floor facial data. Which was right here. Thought, yep. Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to finish walking around without getting the alarm sounded. Okay. Because that was... That was definitely very, very close. That was definitely an almost no good situation right there. Okay. Don't know what you're up to, robot. Um, let's see here. Wait, I thought there was a little... Now I'm getting confused. Okay. Alright, now I'm... I'm confused. Hold up. I'm trying to get my bearings. Okay, this is... Okay. Alright, this is where I came in. And... Okay. There's a little office right here. Don't mind me. Just looting the office. Oh, nice. Okay, we can hack this for sure. Schematics. Or we can not hack it. That would be cool too. Um, completely. There we go. See, skills. Hacking skills. Two pro. Print executive security badge. Um, no. Okay. I am sad to inform you that after many years of loyal service, Leonard Steeple has stepped down from his position at Repcon. We wish him the best of luck in all his future endeavors. For the time being, Julia Masters will be overseeing Leonard's departments. Department heads will be meeting with her later today. Thank you for all your time. Okay. We'll do the security thing later. Second floor security card. Sure. Now it now it makes sense to grab it. Okay. Very, very good. Out of my way, you dangable things. Oh my. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Robots, robots everywhere. Okay. Let's go here. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Um actually I think I can open these without repercussion. Doesn't say they're stealing. So 
We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm not shooting me, so that's good. Dang it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay, and let's see what's in this office. They definitely give you a lot of options here. Okay. Um, hanging. Plus, uh, okay. Um, come on. An allowance replenished would be fantastic. Aha! Fallout! Oh, come on. That should have been the one. Warrior! Bastion, there we go. Um, oh. Encrypted message. Okay. I've managed to get the password to Isley's computer. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to the Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. You should be able to intercept it on the road. Okay, does that mean... Okay. I have no idea if, um... Here. We're just gonna save again to be on the safe side. No idea if that just messed sure, something sure up. I odd by your dizzy Hopefully not. Boss. But you never know. I'd be really mad if that um, makes it so I can't hack hey. a computer. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. And we're going to save again. And let's see. Is this the password then? Okay. I'm not reading it right now simply because I'm trying to find out the passwords here. Okay. Okay, um, hold up. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't mess something up. Alright, I'm back. And yes, that password messes something up. It's to a terminal on the last floor. So, for now, we're just going to get this and then we're going uh, to just look at the ones that shouldn't, um... Oh, seriously. We're just going to look at the ones that shouldn't impact that code. Allowance replenished, please. Okay. Thank you. Um... Okay. There it I I don't even know. Alright. So I'm not gonna check these two. We'll check this. Julia, I'm sure you've heard by now that Robco's intentions to buy out our company. In the past you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed interest those years ago, you helped me rally the board in order to keep Robcom autonomous. I'd like your help again, Robco. Pierce claims that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a hostile takeover. If we won't sell willingly. I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval of the board. I think that you and I will be able to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. I will stand with you. I hope you'll stand with me for this. I'll st I'd stand with you, Leo. Give me a few days to try and gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers, and I'm pretty sure you're right. We can fight this. You are right. Leo sent me a message last night. I made the call to the board. I think the numbers we are looking at pocketing from the Robco deal will have no trouble getting the board to vote no confidence on them. Okay. And then loot. And we should save. Just because. Bad things keep happening to good Rowans. And that's a shame. Okay. 
Give me all the stuffs. Thank you. Oh, I also, since I had to reload, I went back and dropped off stuff in Good Springs, so. We are free to loot. Okay, this area has already been picked over. Ah! Okay, haven't been here yet. Definitely need to be looted. Very good. It's nice having, uh, you know, some extra space here so I can make sure I get plenty of loots. Hi there. Working late, I see. Let me take your hat, then. Um, ooh, very nice. Very, very nice, indeed. Why do all the other places have pencils and this one does I not? Odd by your dizzy I don't understand that. Oh, well. Alright, here, take all this. Thank you, good sir. Yeah, besides, we're about to get some power armor in the top floor, so having some free space is probably paramount. Because power armor tends to not be light. So, yeah. Best to have the space. Very good. Very good. And, okay. Just kind of looking around, seeing what's what here. This is, must be like an upstairs cooking room. I don't know. Ah, more locks. See, I told you this place is all locks. Oh, wait. There's one thing I need to do first before I go here. It's very, very important that we're wearing the naughty nightwear. Otherwise, big trouble, I tell you. Big trouble. Okay. Uh-huh. All junk so far. Nada. Come on, there's gotta be, like, a med kit, no? Not even a med kit, huh? Okay, so that's back to Repcon. Okay, locked very hard terminal. Yes, yes, you see intruders. You're gonna yell Third at me. Floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Ice cream. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Good, get out of here. I'm busy stealing all your stuff. Hey, was that a coffee mug? Alright. Oh. Here's Isley's briefcase. Alright. Now that... Yeah, now I can grab the security card, actually. As long as that doesn't unlock the computer. Hope it doesn't. I'll be kind of mad if it did. Okay. Yeah, this was the terminal I actually messed up. Alright, very good. So I need to hack as many computers as I can for Hacks Are Supreme. Seriously? Okay. Um. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that's it. Come on. Please? I just need an allowance. Fine. I tell you, the these um, shorter words are harder for me. I don't know why that is. It it goes against logic. I know. Um, Western. Protect. Um. Okay. Nope. We're doing awful. See? It's these short words, they're they're killing me, I tell ya. Um Okay, dead removed. Fine. Allowance replenished, thank you. Passion, no. Close. Brother, there we go. I'm just guessing at that point. Okay. 
Unlock safe. Unlock what safe? Where's the safe? Well, there is a lot of star caps in here too, by the way. No, but unlock safe. What safe? What safe are we talking here? Because I'm not unlocking any safe until I find the safe that we be talking about. So I can lockpick it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure what safe we are uh, talking about here. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Is it this safe? Probably this safe. Okay. Well, alright. I don't think I'm gonna unlock the safe quite yet, though. With this command, I just wanna make sure. Robco. Hello, peers. I'm not gonna do any funny voices, because my throat hurts. Now that things have been set in motion, I'm going to be your liaison and point of contact with Robco. I'll be handling anything that arises during your transition to the Robco family. My first priority is going to be tightening up your security. As you well know, Robco handles many classified projects. Because of this, Repcon will need a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of all, it will be pretty innocuous. However, all employees will be required to wear their security badges at all times. Please have your people start wearing their badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then, everyone will be comfortable with the new rules. Okay. Steve, can you send an email out to your engineers reminding them about our security policies? I'll be sending a message next week about some increased security and procedures. Okay. Fair enough. Ah, these are the paladins. Yep, saw that coming. Here you I go. Dizzy Oops, boss. nope. What? Oh. Hi there. My name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Uh-huh. Okay, apparently... I'm sure you'll be that's right. Oh, why didn't I store that? I stored everything except the matter module. Ah, hey. uh, whatever. And why am I trying to give... Eddie, the Brotherhood stuff. Doesn't do any good. Yeah, I'm glad we uh, went to Good Springs, because we are very, very weighted down by this. Alright then. Well, at least I'm almost done with this place. Before I trigger any alarms, though, I will be going back and dropping off stuff, because... I'm gonna get a whole bunch of missiles and stuff, and yeah, I don't want to uh, run out of space when fighting sentry bots. That just does not sound fun, so let's not do it. Alright, science skill of 100. Ah, dang it. I put my... Urgh. Okay. I'll come back in a second, actually. I'll hack that momentarily. Busy doing other things now. Okay, that's a dead end. Just trying to make sure I get this whole place taken care of here. Don't want to lose. Third anything. floor access is free. <gasps> uh oh. Crud. Crud. I'm reloading, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I'm back. I went and dropped off some stuff. Because, you know, might as well. I had to reload anyway, and I figured I might as well just, you know, make it good while I was doing so. 
Okay. Also, stuff keeps respawning in this place because of reloading. So, I'm going to kind of have to... Here, will you just do your thing? Fine, don't. See if I care. Alright, I will, I guess, do the unlock safe because there shouldn't be any reason not to now. Okay. Very good. You guys gonna do your face scan thing? Come on. No? You'll probably do it at the worst possible time, of course. So, let's hack this computer. And, uh, and see what interesting secrets it holds. Okay. Participating. Filtration. Immaculately. Okay. Um, there's one. Okay. More um, things, please. Oh, I need an allowance replenished really bad. Uh, it's not an allowance replenish at all. Are you? Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously, just an allowance replenished would be peachy. I don't think I'm going to find one, though. Oh, there we go. Triumphantly. Very cool. Alright. Oh, not gonna disable all robots. No. Leo, it's good to have you back in the office. I hope Lisa is feeling better as well. That was a nasty bug going around. Hopefully the kids didn't catch it. Either way, it's good to have you back in the office. While you were out of the office, I met with some executives at Robco. They are very interested in the potential that our organization has been showing and are making an excellent offer to buy out. I'll have one of my assistants run over with the draft they gave me. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. I have no interest in selling my portion of the company to Robco. We went over this with Poseidon. Those companies deal in defense contracts. That isn't what we're about and it isn't something that I'm willing to support. I'm sending back the package. I'm sure you have a very fairly solid idea where I think that you can put it. Leo, I've heard more from my contacts over at Robco, and it sounds like they're already starting to buy up some of our public shares. With just a little bit of support from our stockholders and board members, it is not inconceivable that this very amicable relationship could turn very hostile. It is in everyone's best interest if we take this deal while well, it's still sweet. I don't think it'll stay this way for long. One of my contacts at Poseidon Energy found the specs for the cancelled seminal plasma rifle. I'm sending them over to your team. From what I can tell, they've managed to resolve the matter conversion issue you've been having with the Heisenberg compensation field. Combined with the data from the sabotage launch, I think you should have everything you need to complete the Q35. Colonel Moretti is expecting results of this project. I don't need to tell you what a favorable evaluation from his desk will do for all of our stock portfolios. Aha! Okay, leave me alone. Alright, um, now I'm walking in circles. Oh. Leave me alone. Okay. Down here. And... Wait, what was that? Oh, it was Eddie. Just thought it was something interesting. It's probably, it probably could have been one of those secret doors in the walls. Okay, I'm also just looking around here, because as I said, things keep respawning on me, so gotta gotta keep vigilant. You never know. There's also some like graphical glitches that keep occurring here and there, which are rather creepy. Okay. Oh, now I can grab this. Okay. Oh, print executive security badge. Uh-huh. Very cool. And... Let's see. What else do I need to do? That's the main office. Okay. Ah, Here we go. Read our encrypted message. Yes. Okay. 
And Q35. Status failure. Well, version 32 didn't have the power yield of the 31 or 30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27.35%. This is promising. However, we still have yet to come up with a solution for the matter and version issues. Version 33, failure. Lab destroyed, data lost. Version 34, failure. Interesting, I'm not sure where we got this data from. It's a completely different direction from where we've been working on. We managed to cycle the matter and version using a polarized quantum spin. I think that we solved the issue with a compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. 35 success. Notes. The data we received from Zwan did the trick. We met, or Schwan, Zwan, we managed to get a stable build module. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should show that we wor have a working prototype. We should be able to get these issues resolved in a later build. As you requested, here are the improvements we compared to a standard plasma rifle. Prototype materials not suitable for extended field use. On average, the Q35 has a higher refire rate. The time between shots is more consistent. Increase the active bolt charge time accurate at longer ranges. Plasma charge has 30% increase in energy. So basically, the thing's a boss. Very cool. That's what I like to hear. And, okay. So, there's only one thing left to do on each floor one important thing because we have cleared this place out I think you all know what that is I think you all have a really good idea and if you don't I'm about to tell you hi there facial recognition scanner you mad bro wait Dang. Died really fast. Didn't get to trigger the alarm. Dang it. Hold up. Did too much damages. Here. Let's try... Try sleepy time. Yeah? What? What? Hey. Seriously? Seriously? You're not... No. No, 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 no. No, seriously? They're not going to aggro because I have the cards? No. Seriously? Come on. Aggro. There we go. There we go. Okay, I was really, really worried. Okay. Hello. This is what I wanted. Yes. Yes, please. Yep. Kill all the things. Ow! Stop it. It's rude. Okay, cut it out. Cut it out. Or I'll cut you out. I hear Okay, ow. Got this. I got this, guys. Okay, got this. Alright. Let's just make sure this floor is done. Because now that these alarms are going off, I never want to come back here again. Oh, boy. Oh, that kills the ears, does it not? That is a horrendous noise. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. You're a jerk, bag. I don't like you. Um, okay. What is this? Repcon offices, second floor. Okay. All right, we're going to save, and we're going to go down to the next floor, which shouldn't have the alarm blaring. Yep, the alarm's floor-specific. But, 
I am going to get the alarm triggered. Too sweet. Yes? Wait. You didn't ring the alarm. Hey, you. Okay. Do stand still. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, let's um actually get our chainsaw out. Okay, quit waking up. Hold up, hold up, guys. I got this. Oh my. We got sentry bots everywhere. Okay, sentry bots everywhere. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. You guys are okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay, don't die, guys. I can do this. Okay. Boy, it's annoying though. All right, you need to die. Bye there. Okay. All right, we're just going to quickly poke our noses around, make sure we're not missing anything. Oh Lord, the agony. Yes, yes, yes. Stop your blaring. You're an alarm, we get it. Okay, please die. Thank you. Okay. Uh, main office, okay. Fire hose box. Apparently I missed you. Um, okay, we're almost ready to leave. Okay, main floor, huh? Okay, yep. Oh, what was that? Tool cabinet. Okay, let's go, main floor. <sighs> okay. Now, there should be one facial scanner left, I think. There's only one on the first floor. So, I can't blow this. I gotta punch it and make it really mad. Okay. Unless he's already dead. That would be really bad if that's the case. Um, here. How may I serve you, master? And who gets to clean up? Okay. Oh snap! I think. Okay. Yep. There we go. Okay. All right. Alarm's been sounded. Okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. We got this. Hold up, guys. I got this. I got this. Okay. All right. Is that it? That might be it on the first floor. Oh! Oh, hi. Okay. Yep, you're a thing. Okay. Okay. You're definitely a thing. And a stim pack might be in order now. Man, I'm accumulating a lot of stim packs, by the way. Okay. We just need to do a quick jaunt here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yep, I am. Yep, you need to die. Please die. Thank you. All right. Mission accomplished. Very cool. All right, so that's been Repcon. Let's get out of here. Because now these alarms will be going forever. Forever and ever and ever. <sighs> Alright. Much better. <sighs> okay. Well, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section below. See you guys next time. Same time, same channel. Bye-bye.